All right, guys, these are the uh, beds that we built during the workshop. These two centers are uh, mulched with uh, hardwood, and the two on each end are not mulched, they're just simply planted to a cover crop. And uh, when I had the guys here, I was explaining to them that that bed down there had only been in the ground for 10 days at the time, and it was hard to believe, but this bed was planted on Friday. Actually, this bed was planted on Saturday. And today is Tuesday, so that's Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. This is the fourth day. And it's very early in the morning. You can see the cover crop already emerging. And there's some sorghum that we put in there as plants. So the sorghum you see and a few other little plants were actually planted. Like uh, there's a cuke probably down there. But all of the rest of that, that's just the cover crop coming up already. This bed, well, that's now at 14 days. And there's buckwheat, there's millet, there's daikon. Let's see if I can find some of the individual ones. There's daikon right there. There's buckwheat. Let's find you a cow pea. There's a cow pea right there. There's uh, sage back in there. Where the, I don't know if you can see it. There's a little sage plant hiding in there. Uh, we've got bushes. We've got apple, dwarf apples, blueberries, another blueberry, another blueberry. That stick sticking up there's a goji. Lavender enveloped in there in the middle of the cover crop. A um, little bit of amaranth right there. Um, what else do we have? There are more lavender, more blueberry, more daikon, another apple. There's actually two goji berries in here. I'm finding them right now. Even though I planted them, might be a bit tough, but they're in there. It should be right. I've got a coffee in my other hand, so it's hard for me to bend over. But you can just kind of see how quick everything came in. Purple guy back there is a really hot marble style pepper. A little mint joining in on the action. So this is kind of what that bed down there is going to look like, minus the trees, in about 10 days. We did some more conventional things. Peppers, jalapenos, and bells. And the little guys in the middle are conchos. The little ones there. Now this bed back here. Was planted one day later. And you can see. Cover crop is starting to emerge. But it's nowhere near as, long, as far along as the first one. And back there is my mess. John, my excavator guy, he's coming a little bit from now. And it's about dry enough now that using some of that dirt we have staged over there, we can clean this up and we'll turn that into pasture. So I want to go back, though, and show you. So I did this bed, this bed, the little clump bed back there, and that long one, I did that all by hand. That took me over two months to do by hand. Oh, I did this one, too. So I did five beds short one two three medium and a long machine came in here in two days and did one two three four and this is a long bed right here folks this is uh this is a good 60 foot bed that one there ain't short either that's over 40 feet easy that bed's probably close to 40 feet itself all of those beds are in the 40 to 60 foot range so it's definitely more than i did in two months but let me step all the way back again and give you a view now of the whole system. And there are lots of videos of what went on here. We have our own. Looks like Charlie got into uh, digging up one of my beds. I'll have to fix that. He's still learning. But that's what the system as a whole looks like now. And anyway, I was saying there are... Uh, a lot of videos and photos that have been taken. We're setting up a special channel just for the, the group's videos. That'll be up soon and I'll let you know about it when it is.